Hey hey everybody, Revoka1221 here, welcome back to some more Let's Play Advance Wars. Last time, I left you off right here at the campaign map after completing Mission 19, Andy x 2, where we stumbled across a human clone of Andy. During that mission, we had learned that there's this evil mastermind, like this evil mastermind behind all this fighting that's managed to create clones of Andy. And during this mission, or this episode, we will be learning who that mastermind is. But firstly, Sandra has something to say. Grit! Howdy, Sandra. How are you all doing? I finally got our foe by the tail. I need you to convey some intel to Andy and his friends. And what are you going to be doing in the meanwhile, darling? Yeah. I need to sur survey the situation. Don't worry, I won't do anything foolish. Father warned me to take care. You wouldn't be trying to pull the wool over my eyes, would you? Of course not! You'll go, won't you? Well, I reckon I have to. Stay put now, I'll be right back. Grit's always been more useful than me. <sighs> well, here we are, we'll be moving on to mission 20. Now, out of the choice of CEOs we have right here, the only person that can do this mission is Max. I'm, I'm not kidding, Max is the only person that can do it. Not Andy, and especially not Sammy. In fact, Sammy is so bad at this mission, if you guys can prove to me Sammy can do this, please make a video of it and show it, show me, because I really, really would like to see Sammy be able to do this. So, without further delay, it's time to bring it. Mission 20, Enigma. And that's our enemy. Day one. Who's that? I guess that's our mystery foe. If we beat him, do you think my clone will vanish too? Yep, I don't think there's any doubt about it. Hang on, what kind of logic is that? Defeat that guy and then your clone's gone? It's not like... Ugh, never mind. We're counting on you, Roboka. Well, so here we are, have, down in this corner of the map, black hole units. Now, who's that CO we saw at the start of the mission thingamabob? the intro. So if we go to Intel CO, and if we press right, here we have is Stern. As you can see, his skill, question marks, his power, Meteor Strike, question marks, and this description of him. A riddle within a shadow, revealing nothing. Hit and miss is unknown. Well, don't fret, because I know everything you need to know about this guy, although I won't tell you everything you need to know. First of all, Sturm, 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 Sturm. He is the person behind all of this, like behind every single thing in this game, right? His skill, first of all, uh, to start it off, he has no m penalty cost, movement penalty cost. Like if you go to, uh, you can see movement cost, infantry 2, mech 1, air 1. Well, usually that would affect us. It affects us pretty badly, in fact. But for Sturm, look how well he can travel across mountains. He's got absolutely perfect movement range everywhere. He's got no movement costs whatsoever, so he can move really, really far. So that's really annoying. He can get to you really quickly and you, you wouldn't even expect it. Secondly, he, his unit stats. Every single one of his units have a 20% bonus on attack. So that makes him a force to be reckoned with. You do not want to get attacked first, whatever you do, because he will almost destroy you, if not destroy you. But, the upside for us is, he has a 20% penalty on defense. So that is why I chose Max. Because compared, uh, Sturm's units compared to Max's, they're, they're just like paper. I swear to God, if you can get first shot on him, Sturm is almost guaranteed to be gone one shot. I mean, if you've got two MD tanks on a road each, and you shot your tank one, at one of Sturm's tanks, Sturm's MD tank would be gone for good. But look, enough talking, because I r I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna say something that maybe I shouldn't, because it might spoil this. But this is the second last mission of the game, for most people. Ooh, spoiler, there could be a third mission, but nah. 
But yeah, this is the second last mission. So this LP has gone by pretty quickly, but don't fret, there's still another mission which is really, really long and big. So, I'm gonna give you a mission briefing right as of now. Basically, you've got enough funds to build a tank on every single day, so that's what I recommend you do. Build a tank on every single day, or build something on every single day. Something like a tank. Um, for the sea units, uh, yeah, Sturm has a couple of sea units. Don't worry, this sub, this single sub is enough to take them all down. I'm not kidding, one shot from this sub, and you, you, could, you can kill a sub, another sub, or the battleship. And another battleship down here. Uh, this fighter unit will probably go down by a cruiser, so you'll have to capture this seaboard and build a cruiser. Don't capture this airport, not necessary, it's just more of a waste of time, it takes a lot more effort to get it than it will produce ease, if that makes sense. Really, if you do get it, well done, it will provide good late game, re late game relief, but I don't... I wouldn't recommend it. Also, keep in mind, Sturm's AI can be rather erratic, especially on day 3 and onwards. So what you're going to want to do is, you, you will want to capture this base, this base, and all the cities on your little island. That way you'll have enough funds to create, I don't know, bombers, MD tanks, everything you need. So end turn. Also, day one. Hmm, that's all it's got to say. I'll mention this to you now. I'm not going to be telling you what his CO power is. You saw it, it's called Meteor Strike. I won't tell you what it is. Because in this mission, very, very luckily, the, the people that made this game decided to disable Sturm's CO meter. So even if you damage a couple of units, he, his CO meter will never, ever go up. So that's a very good thing. And you'll see why during the next mission, after we complete this mission, because his CO power is rather devastating. Like, I'm not... It's really, really annoying. If you get hit by it, you'll know it, because it's not good at all. Well, okay. Awkward silence, because I don't know what to talk about anymore. <laughs> I just hate that when you don't know what to talk about. Drop him off. Okay, I'm just thinking. I want to tell you guys a sort of story. Yeah, we'll call it a story. A really long time ago, like as a kid, I didn't play. I, I stopped playing the game altogether for three days because of this mission. Like I tried to do this mission as always, either Sammy or Andy. Never ever would I try Max because I never liked Max. I, I still don't. But I was. Because of this game, I kept failing at this mission until I tried Max and I won. But I didn't play this game for three days because I didn't want to play. I recommend you save on this day. Save? Okay, I'm saving because this is probably the last time you have any control of what's going on on the battlefield. Uh, you can see Sturm has two fighters. Those fighters are going to move to random positions, but you want them in two specific positions. Like, not there. See where that top sub has moved? You don't want top fighter that has moved, you don't want that to be there. So, just give me a sec, I'll reload again, I'll reload after this turn and I'll show you where you want it. Okay, yes, day two. So I'm just, we're gonna wait through. Yeah, so since you only have very limited control of what's going on during this mission, you may as well save and try and make as much of it go your way, because afterwards, You've got no control, you, you're you just going to have to push through. And this is going to be my next point. I highly recommend, not as such recommend, but I just always keep in mind, because from this day onwards everything is going to be really weird and erratic, try, always try and push through Sturm. As Max, you may as well do it, because you are going to succeed eventually. <laughs> but no, seriously, just do push through, that's all I can tell you. Because if you're playing along with me, which you might, I don't, I'm not saying you are, but you might be. Just keep in mind, once you get onto Sturm's territory, just push through it. Don't let up one second. With his 20% defense penalty, you will just push, th push on and push through until you defeat him. Because as Max, you are going to want to destroy every single one of his units, unless you're having a lot of trouble, then you might then you might 
uh, capture his HQ. But, uh, looking at the time now, we're coming close to the end of this episode. I try and make my episodes 10 to 15 minutes long. I usually try and stick to 10 minute long, 10 minute long episodes because, let's face it, not everybody has time to watch like a 20, 20 minute video because, you know, we all have things we have to get done, including me. I can't spend all my time doing episodes. So, after the end of Sturm's Day, I'll end off the episode just a heads up. But for now, just enjoy what you see. This is the best thing I can say right now. Also, build a tank. Always build a tank or something on each day. Highly recommended. Okay, let's end off. Day 3. Are you sure capture them? Well, look at this. Check this out. Most bombers would leave an APC on 3 health if it was on a base, or on a city. But not Sturm's bomber, because it's 20% bonus on attack. It leaves me on 1 and then destroys me. How very kind. But next episode, you're gonna see a demonstration of my power against Sturm. That's right. I'm super uber duper powerful against Sturm. Oh yeah. Day 4. Okay guys. Next episode, we'll be taking down Sturm, or almost be taking him. See you then. Bye-bye.